for the CF2S Lewis structure. Carbon has four valence electrons, fluorine has seven, but we have two fluorines, and sulfur has six for a total of 24 valence electrons for the CF2S Lewis structure. Carbon is the least electronegative atom, and we'll put that at the center, and then we'll put fluorines on the outside, and let's put a sulfur here on top. We have a total of 24 valence electrons. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used six, and then we'll go around the fluorines and the sulfur to complete their octets. So we have six, eight, and 24 valence electrons. So we've used all of the valence electrons for the CF2S Lewis structure. The fluorines, they both have octets, as does the sulfur, but the carbon in the center only has six valence electrons, so it doesn't have an octet. What we can do is take two valence electrons from the sulfur, since it's the less electronegative, it will let go of those easier than the fluorines, and put them between the carbon and the sulfur to form a double bond. We're still only using the 24 valence electrons we have for the Lewis structure, but now the sulfur, it still has eight valence electrons, and the carbon, it also has eight valence electrons, so it has a full outer shell. So we've used all 24 valence electrons for the CF2S Lewis structure. Each of the atoms has eight valence electrons. So we're done. That's the Lewis structure for CF2S. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.